All right, welcome back to Ponix Haven. This is the update on the the cuttings I did with the um, tomato plant suckers. So this is the ones that ones I did, and I'm gonna show you a few. So this is the root system, the paper towel that I put around it. Um, there's one of them. I'll show you some. Oh, some more. That bug off, I guarantee. You open this. See, there's some roots sticking out right there. So I'm not going to open that. I'm just going to leave it like it is. I wish I could. It would have. I've been a little straighter, but I've got pecan trees in my yard, and those little things are falling everywhere. So, here's some more roots they've grown through the paper towels and stuff. So, this is how I root them. Yes, he'll root without the paper towels, but. It seems like to me they root a little bit better. So, um, anyway, there we go. I am going to show you how I plant them. Once they get rooted, go through that process. Um, I've just got some potting soil for vegetables. Um, it's organic. So we're going to get a little bit of it, put it down in the cup, in the pot. You see, I'm going to get something. It's, all right. Let's do, let's do this one right here. Okay. Come on, focus. Sorry about that, it's not focusing like it needs to. There we go. So what what I do, I'm gonna get my knife here out. What I do, I'm gonna plant this as deep as I can. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that off and I'm gonna pinch these flowers off. Okay, you really don't need them on there, not right now anyway. All right. Okay, we got It is really important to go ahead and pinch all those flowers off because you want all the nutrition right now to go to to the plant, um, not to the fruit, the blooms or anything like that. So yeah. Very important. Take the stuff off. Okay, we got that one planted, and we're gonna do another one. All right, I'm gonna take off this leaf, this stem right here, and I'm gonna leave that. We're gonna get it down as far as we can. Okay. We'll start putting dirt around it. Get the pot over here where I can reach it. The reason why you want to get the stem as far as you can down into the pot, the reason is whatever's up under the ground in the dirt will produce roots 
So the more plant you can get in the dirt, you're going to build a better, better root system for the plant. See, there you go. And once you get a good root system built, a good root system will make a good plant. And it will produce quality tomatoes anyway. That's, that's what we're hoping anyway. <laughs> so, again, as a, as a, I'm going to cut the stem off. I'll cut this one off. Two. And tell you what I'm gonna go ahead and get that one right there so we can okay you see how that stem is bit that's fine but it's going to produce well let's get that flower off of there that still is going to produce growing up my dad when he would do his garden and do his um tomatoes he would take and when he would plant his tomatoes, he would cut all the limbs off except like the way this is here. And then he would lay the plant sideways down into the ground to where it's just barely sticking out. And then he would cover it up. And um, let it grow like that, and so the stem, the, the stem would straighten up and point towards the sun, as as all of them usually do. And he would grow to make a plant like that, and he did it because of to get a good root system with it. So, but anyway, I hope this helped some folks. Helped you a little bit. I'm sure there may, may be some things that some people may not have liked the way I did it. But that's just the way it goes. But this is how I do it. So, um, alright, this is Craig with the Ponix Haven. Thanks for watching my video. Like it, please, and share it. And um, subscribe to my channel. And follow us. Okay, on Facebook, Ponix Haven, on Facebook, and um, thank you so much for watching. You have a wonderful day. God bless.